Oopsie doopsie day, yeah. All right, hi everybody. Ruben from Round Drum Channel again. Here's a new video. And today we're gonna talk about the mastery of Mr. Steve Gadd. So it's a little bit a complete lesson about his technical abilities and his skills. A couple of specific things. You have to have the black Steve Gadd sticks. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of explanation. The drum set I, set I have here is the rebuild of the fiberglass drum set we used in the 70s. Here is the superphonic Ludwig snare drum and it's with a uh, fiber skin diplomat head on it and a diplomat uh, resonant ambassador head. Most important thing, the secret of it all. The ring of Remo and there you have the very dry Steve Gadd sound. There are a lot of videos on my channel already about Steve Gadd, so check them all out. An exercise, I think it's very good to get your independence going on, and I stole it from Mr. Steve Gadd. You know his famous 50 ways to leave your lover beat, and the nicest thing what he does on that beat is that he changed his hands instead of playing as a right-handed handed drummer like this. He plays like actually a left-handed drummer on a right drum drummer set. Now I have a microphone here. Okay, so you can do a lot of exercises like that. So for instance, what I do with my students is that I play a, a rhythm. So now I play quarter notes with my right hand on it. So you can do it like this. So the quarter notes you're gonna play with your left hand on the hi-hat. Now we're gonna play on the hi-hat the afterbeat. So like this. Oh, oopsie doopsie day, yeah. Okay, so that's a nice exercise. You can invent all kinds of rhythms. And you can watch my foot carefully because I'm doing the Steve Gadd tap dance technique. So I play now 160 note before the, the downbeat and 160 note after the downbeat. And you can see how my footwork is going. play on the downbeat your heel. So the most important thing is your downbeat is always with your heel. Okay, if you want to bring it a step further, I don't know if I can do that with this miking setup was really a problem for my left hand on the hi-hat, so maybe this looks a little bit stupid, but you play it all with one hand. No, that's, I cannot play like this, man. I cannot play, I really cannot play like this. The miking thing in the videos of YouTube is really hard. So that's a really nice exercise to do. You really have to have your skills in your left hand. Another nice beat you can play and practice this. It, it, it looks always simple, but most 
Oftentimes, the simple things are the hardest things. Is with 60 note. That beat is really a famous TPM beat, playing both-handed 16 notes. He's the king in that. So what the hardest part in this beat is, don't flam. Okay, what's a flam? You know, in rudimental things, a flam is like this. But if you play beats, you don't want a flam. So when you play just a basic beat, this one has to be together, not like... Actually, that is now very happening in the drum scene, but then you do it on purpose. But if you don't do it on purpose, then you really have to work on it, that you do. And the same is with, you, you see? So that left hand and that right feet. There's a very famous way, he does that in a close video, that you do the movement like this. Okay, you listen, my left hand and my bass room are not together right now, so you, I have to study that. Only the left hand, and that's amazing. So that's a really nice rhythm. And then you have you can play that with your only with your left hand. <laughs> necessary you know everybody wants to try to play difficult things but they, they forget the easy things so first get this shit together that you play So that's uh, an independence exercise. Shall I continue? Way too long for YouTube. The, I think five minutes is the basic uh, attention skill. Red in, uh, you, you see in your YouTube analyzing the things, how long people watch your videos. One minute. <laughs> uh, you really have to have a lot of views to earn some money on YouTube. So when you have 10,000 10, uh, views, you have $10. So, but I would really love to teach you all these kind of things. I think a lot of people love to see this, uh, the, the back, background story of Mr. Steve Getz. I also, it's very important is the way he hit the drums. And that's such an important thing. And nobody almost talks on YouTube about that. It's so, with his, with his fills, he always hit, you know, the tom really... So every note 
is the same velocity, and that's so important. So that left hand on the tom has the same strength as the right hand on the floor. As your your weak hand is the same stra- strength strength as your r- strong hand. Okay, the next tip I want to give you is that you think of long notes. So glue the notes together. So you can play it actually both ways. You can play it really staccato. That's a term from classical music of short notes. You know, short tap. Or you can glue it together. This exercise that's for me the hardest feel Steve Gadd plays is the triplet thing, but he plays bass, left, right. In triplets, and then you really have to glue the notes together. That's is that it is a nice phrasing. So again, the bass drum, again, the bass drum is on the downbeat. You can also do it with both feet, that you have that splash sound. And lean a little bit forward in this groove, in this thing. Don't go too much like this. You can check out my Steve Gadd Drum Lesson Facebook page. It's a very nice page. I have all the videos on YouTube on that page. And it would be nice if you maybe play these exercises, that we start a community there, and then I can give you some more tips about it. And of course, you can check me out on YouTube, on this drum channel, Rumor from Rome drum channel. And if you like, you can subscribe. And if you subscribe, you get the notifications of all the new lessons. And give me some suggestions what I have to do. I had a great radio show with only Steve Gett record. But YouTube always blocked the radio show. It was terrible. I don't know why. Because it's all about passion and love. So please subscribe. And I'll see you at the next term lesson. Bye bye. Ruben from Rome. From Holland. The Netherlands. Schreveningen. All right. See you next time, guys. And girls. <laughs>